Hey everyone, we're gonna keep going on costing. Today we're gonna talk about the average coffee mug. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is purchase a uh, hundred, just like before, of $10, and then another hundred of $11, and see when we sell 50, uh, you know, where does it take it from? If it was a FIFO, it would have taken it from the 10, but since it's average, it's going to average the 10 and the 11. So we have here uh, 1,000 and 1,100. So that's 2,100 divided by 200, uh, which is, what is it, 10.5. So, or I could have just average this. Anyways, so it would be 10.5 uh, that it's, it's being sold out at. And and basically the question is does it average what's remaining so like let's say for example this is 100 100 now i sell 50 now this is no longer 100 it's 50. so we have 50 plus 100 50 times 10 which is 500 plus 100 times 11 1100 so that would be 1600 divided by 150 which could be a different number is a different number now is that the next one that it takes or not the answer is not it always averages the inbound transactions. And actually, I'm going to just go through that uh, in a couple of videos. Uh, so let's first take a look at the standard stuff. See how that goes. OK, so let's take a look at this. In the items, um, I've created a the average coffee mug. It's very average. Average coffee mug. Uh, and in there, if I go into the history of this particular item, uh, you see more options, history, entries, ledger entries. I have uh, received two uh, transactions. So one for 1,000. We bought it 100 for a total of 1,000. And then we bought 100 for 1,100. So since this is, this is set up as a average, if I go into costing here, this is a costing method average. When I sell this product, uh, and let's say if I go back here, just to make that very clear, if I sell 50, and this transaction here came in first, 1,000. So I sell 50, it should take it out of uh, the first transaction. However, it's not gonna take it out of 1,000 it's going to take the 10.5 price, which is uh, 550, uh, because we're 525 actually. So let's see how that works. So technically, it's not going to be $10 that gets taken out, but more. So if we go into the sales order, let's see. and go ahead and create a new one to the add datum corporation. And uh, here are the coffee mug, main location, oops, wrong coffee mug. It's the average coffee mug here. Get this right, main location. Uh, and now we want to do 50. And you see cost comes in at 1050, but we know that it always brings in the average cost, no matter of the costing method. We're going to sell it for $20. And go ahead and post and ship an invoice. And now it's been moved. Don't want to view that. Close that out. Close out again. And now if I go into the average coffee mug and go into navigate history entries, ledger entries, I can see that the cost was 525, which is the average of the 1,000 and 1,100 um, divided out by 200 and then multiplied by 50. So so it's the it's different than FIFO. FIFO would have given us 500 in here. Uh, it's averaging out what we have basically 
left remaining. So that's how that works.